Number five. Compound A has a molar mass of 20 grams per mole, and compound B has a molar mass of 30 grams per mole. Now, what compounds these are do not matter. They're just generic things that have uh, round molar masses for us uh, to use. And so from that, you can kind of uh, anticipate that these questions are going to ask you to manipulate these molar masses in conversion factors. So let's get ready. A, what is the mass of 1.0 moles of compound A in grams? Now, the question has to start with 1 mole of A. So I'm going to start with 1 mole of A. And it wants me to convert to mass. Now, I have moles, and I want to get out of moles. I'm going to put that on the bottom of my crosshairs. I'm going to put grams on top. But how many grams per 1 mole of A d is there? there? There's 20 grams. 20 grams. So moles cancel. I'm going to have grams left over for my answer. Multiply that out. Guys, I don't even need my calculator for this one because I am that sharp. It's going to be 20 grams of A. Right? 20 grams. B, how many moles are present in 5 grams of compound B? So now we're uh, doing a similar conversion, we're just going the opposite way. Instead of going from moles to grams, we're going from grams to moles. So we're going to start with um, what the question gave us, 5 grams of compound B, 5 grams of B. Set up our conversion factor, grams B versus moles of B. And in one mole, we have 30 grams. And so this time, I'm actually going to do some uh, division. So I'm going to... Well, Grams are going to cancel, by the way. So I'm going to do 5.0 divided by 30. That's not a number. 5.0 divided by 30. And I'm going to get uh, this uh, big old long kind of fraction type number. Now, uh, the question gives me two significant figures to start with, so I need to round this to two significant figures. So uh, I'm going to take this 6 round it up to seven because of this this six right here and so i'm going to report 0 0.17 moles of b let's uh, finish up with number six move this down a little bit how many moles of compound b are needed to have the same mass okay so same mass as six moles of compound a now, we're not going to necessarily get to do one conversion be done. We're actually going to have to do a, a couple of conversions. Okay, so follow along with the thought process here. So, same mass as 6 moles of compound A. Well, in order to know what that mass is, I'm going to calculate what the mass of 6.0 moles of A are. Okay, using the uh, molar mass of uh, 20 grams per mole, 20 grams A per one mole of A. Uh, that's going to give me 120 grams, okay, 120 grams. And so six moles of A has a mass of 120 grams. Now, we want to have the same mass, but figure out how many moles of compound B that is. So I'm going to start with 120 grams of compound B. Set up my conversion factor with grams of B on the bottom, moles of B on the top, so that these grams will cancel. Now for every one mole of B, I have 30 grams. And so again, I'm so smart, I can do this off the top of my head. That is going to be four moles of B. So four moles B. I calculated the mass of six moles of A so I can have this mass and start with that same mass of B figure out how many moles that is. Again, reading the question, slowing down. Not every question I ask you on a quiz or uh, a test is going to be formulaic. Sometimes you're going to have to do a little bit of critical thinking. I'm sorry about that, but we will have to have to critically think sometimes.